Welcome back. The former House Speaker Newt Gingrich is the author of 28 books, including 14 New York Times bestsellers. His latest, newest, a heart-pounding political thriller that dances the line of fiction and reality. It's called Treason, and it is on shelves right now. Uh, Newt's wife, Callista, is an accomplished children's book author as well, who teaches young minds about American history. Her latest book, Hail to the Chief, also released this week. The best-selling authors join us right now this morning to talk about their latest releases. Great to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. How fun for you both to be working on books together. It is. I think it's remarkable. So let's talk about the books. Uh, Speaker Gingrich, let's talk first about treason. So it's a balance of fiction, but based on reality? It is. It, it starts with what we've learned about the Soviets after the fall of the Soviet Empire, when we realized that they had maybe as many as 500 agents of influence in the United States. And I began to ask myself, so what if there were two or three people in key positions, say at the FBI or Homeland Security, who actually favored ISIS? Who had, who had been converted, who in one reason or another decided that they were on the other team, and how dangerous would that be and how complicated it would be. And so this is a very fast-moving, very action-packed look at what could happen in the U.S. And part of the purpose is to get across to people that this war we're in is real. I mean, this is not some game. And that our enemies are spreading by Internet, they're spreading by migration, they're doing a lot of different things that we don't understand. And as a result, you saw it in Orlando, the, the uh, hearing today, the arraignment today in New Jersey. I mean, <clears throat> there is a growing threat of something real happening. And it, it's a real contrast with, with the WikiLeaks report from, that Hillary Clinton said she really wasn't worried about terrorism in the United States. Well. She really ought to be worried about terrorism in the United States because it could become very dangerous. Well, it's really extraordinary what's happening in the political season right now. I, I imagine you could get an incredible number of storylines just from. Oh, you could. I mean, yeah. well, but one thing. This is actually this, a sequel, right? Uh, this is actually a sequel to a book called Duplicity, which started with a very interesting t question. You have a uh, Somali American in Minneapolis who's totally patriotic running for Congress. His brother is the number two leader of the terrorist group in Somalia. And the tension in the family between these two very different paths and then how that works out with the presidential campaign, a congressional campaign, and a lot of violence in Somalia is uh, really remarkable. And that led us into treason. Uh, we have our, our chief action person is a female Marine major, uh, and, and she plays a very key role all the way through the book in, in trying to deal with what's going on. And you're also working in sort of real-time distribution like the Internet. I mean, yes. the way that they're uh, soliciting people online today is also part of sure. it. Sure, I mean, and, and, and the degree to which, and we just had this uh, story this morning about them using drones to deliver IEDs. I mean, the, we're not up against necessarily stupid people. I mean, the, the, they're very different from us, but some of them actually went to MIT. I wow. mean, you know, and so you're dealing with people who are fully able to access the modern world, and they don't have our procurement bureaucracy. So they can go to Amazon and buy it immediately, whereas we have to go through a government bureaucracy that takes six months or a year. Uh, so in some ways, they can get faster access to technology uh, than the big armies that they're up against. Fascinating. Calista, hail to the chief. I love children's books, and the illustration is absolutely beautiful. Tell us about the book. What, what could kids learn from this? Sure. Well, Hail to the Chief is the sixth volume in the Ellis the Elephant series, and this is a series that offers a guided tour of American history for four to eight-year-olds. And in Hail to the Chief, Ellis discovers our presidents and how they've led our country throughout history. And it's so important for our kids today to understand some of our greatest presidents, to understand what the presidency means. And to do that, they really need to learn about our historical leaders. And, and I like the fact that you've got Ellie sort of going through all of the books because Ellie has lots of adventures. This is not the first adventure. This is not Ellis the Elephant's first adventure, no. And Ellis is always looking forward to his next adventure. And next year, we'll take a look at our first ladies and remember the ladies. I love that idea. So, Ellis, uh, in terms of what is happening in the real world today, mm -hmm. I mean, a child may not necessarily be learning everything at, at four years old, five years old. So, this is a, a very good way for a child to understand really how government works, but I at a very so. simple level. Yes, you know, it's so important for our kids to learn American history. And unfortunately, today, many of our kids are not learning history, uh, including our founding principles and values, but instead learning revisionist or politically correct history. So, we owe it to our kids to give them the tools early. Books like these where they can begin to appreciate the greatness of this nation. I love it. Ellis says, dedicated to our American presidents who have led this exceptional nation. The, the illustration is beautiful as well. What kind of a, a reception are you getting? 
a very good reception. Yes. We've had um, some great book signings this week, and I have a lot of uh, Alice the Elephant followers now, and uh, mothers and grandmas and grandpas are, are very excited about Alice the Elephant. So Alice the Elephant is on Twitter, is that what you're saying, in terms of the followers? Uh, no, Facebook. Facebook. people who have bought the books in the past okay. and, and who appreciate these books. How, how do you guys work together? I mean, is, is it you have separate offices doing your own your own books? Or? Well, we, 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 have, we have separate offices in our company, and, and uh, but at the same time, we we talk on airplanes, we talk in cars, we talk over Sunday lunch. We, you know, we're constantly trying to think through the next thing. What a great collaboration! Great to see you both. Thanks. Thank you so much, Newt Gingrich, Callista Gingrich, joining us there. Congrats. Great Thank to you. see you. So